What is good? Uh, looks like everything's working. Okay, um, it's Boy Genius here and uh, back with another live. It's uh, no lighting problems because I waited a little later this time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just wanted to shout out all the, the people that liked my previous my my previous live stream. So shout out to Erp, uh, Erpola, um, Richie Black. That's my bro right there, uh, Whitney Lee. She shot um, the cover for uh, my first album back in the day. And um, Shauna, who was also a um, singer on one of my one of the tracks back in the day. So shout out to you guys. And um, yeah, I wanted to update you real quick on the website. I, yesterday I said if you want a custom uh, custom sample bangers. You know, like some hip hop with a sample of sound, but not really sampled. You know, make it sound like a sample. That you could go to customgeniusbangers.com. Um, that site is ready and it's up. If you're interested and you want to take a little look, and um, yeah, today the topic is how to like spot a sample. How do you know if the song that, as an MC, if you're writing to a beat. How do you know if it's sample? Like for me, I the the way I learned how to identify all this stuff was there's been a few uh, of the tracks that I've worked on where, like when I first started sampling, and I would just find some miscellaneous songs that I didn't get the name to. Like my boy um, from Hawaii, he gave me a Hawaiian CD with like a you know like a very tribal sound and. Um, I had sampled a song from there, but I lost the CD, so I, I had to, I had to look, look and discover how can I find <laughs> the name of the sample because I, I was gonna sell um, on my website and I had to put it in the contract, like um, you're responsible for your own samples, blah blah blah. And the sample name is this and that, and the album is this. So I I learned a few methods on how to do it, and you know there's been a. A few situations where I've needed to discover the name of the sample because it's just for whatever reason, you know, like I got a hold of a sample and I didn't label it correctly or or whatever. So um, yeah, I just wanted to to share that with uh, any MCs uh, out there that may be writing to something and they don't know if it if what they're writing to is sampled or they're maybe they're thinking about buying something but they're not trying to. You know, they're not trying to take any chances with, with the sample. So, um, yeah, like one of the easiest tips is obviously, you know, Google um, samples for like X, like whatever the beat name is or whatever, um, like the composer, the producer, beat maker, um, beat name, samples. Um, that's a, one easy way to do it. And another that I had to learn about <laughs> was a Shazam, you know, I used to use Shazam just for, you know, finding songs in the restaurant. I'm like, damn, this song's fire. But when you get Shazam or you're playing a, a song with a sample, if it's really obvious, Shazam will detect it and it'll tell you uh, this song is really uh, such and such by this person. And then you can go check it out and that tells you, okay, this song is sampled and this is where I can find the, the sample. So, um, yeah, another way... You can do it is uh by uploading to YouTube. YouTube has a, a little algorithm thing that can detect if you have something in there that's um you know stolen or not yours because you know I've had a few times where I've uploaded uh something with a sample and you get like a copyright strike and oh it'll let you know. You know, you don't have to keep it up but like once you upload it, give it a few days and it'll detect whether you got a sample in there or something that that's on their their network, their little algorithm network, and then uh, the other obvious choice is asking uh, the creator of the producer or beat maker of uh, the work. You know, ask them: Is there any samples in this? Is you know, is this something I should be worried about? So, um, yeah, like if, if for some reason you can't do any of those. Um, some signs that it may be sampled is um, like lots of like looping. You know, if you have a beat that's just 
like you sampled it, there's really not a lot you can do with it. So if, if the sample is like, let's say four instruments and throughout the whole track, it's just over and over, they might drop some drums or something, but um, yeah, if it's just over and over, it's the same thing is usually not always, but usually a good sign that it's sampled. And then also if the only thing that you hear during the verse is like um, them filtering the sample, like putting a little effect on it and kind of muffling it. So, so um, there's a difference between the verse and the hook. That's a, another sign that I'm, I'm, um, that's another sign that it's sampled and, um, like they're trying to make space without it being repetitive. So, um, yeah, my bad. I kind of just spaced out there. It was like, oh, I'm live. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, another, uh, Another little uh, way to know if it samples, if, if there's vocals in the beat, you know, and it just doesn't go away. You're trying to rap and then there's a little vocal in the, in the sample, you know, like, um, it's usually hard to take those out unless you're like extremely skilled and you know how to, you know, take a, separate some instruments with uh, some, some wizardry, some, some music wizardry. So, um, yeah, like that, these, those are like some pretty obvious, uh, things that, if you hear in a sample like that um yeah like you should probably you know look into that you know like uh if there's also lots of dirt and uh static that doesn't seem to go away then that's also another uh sign that that your joint is sampled and last one um before i show you some uh some work here um a long intro like a long <laughs> dramatic intro like uh sounds completely different than the main beat right there'll be a long intro with a bunch of instrumentation and it's real intricate and you know and it sounds like it's beyond the skill of just an average beat maker right and so you hear the long intro and then it'll change to the the beat the loop and then it'll keep looping because they didn't make it they have to keep looping because they didn't really compose it so they can't pull elements out for during certain times or whatever so they're just stuck with the sample so yeah i've been making these videos mostly just to to talk to people talk to mcs really that um they're they've already put out an album or two and they've had some success and they're like i'm trying to get more money with my album how can i do my next album without sample clearance so um yeah, that's really why I'm doing these videos. So, um, yeah, I wanted to show uh, some work that I got. Oh, I'm going to take my camera off of here. Oof. All right. So, I wanted to show um, a joint that I made where where the sample is... Um, I got to turn this. <clears throat> where the sample is in the chorus... And then it's like a chop. I did a multi-track chop, so um, it's like, yeah, you're gonna have to hear, it and I can explain it a little better. So, you can see I composed this joint. See all the different instruments here. See that? Okay. So it's going to go into the bridge. Oof. All right. All right. So this is the, the chop. See, I'm chopping this, but in a multi-track type of way, where I'm dropping certain elements. That's how you know that it's not like sample. Let's see if I can pull it up. There's just so many joints going on here. around here somewhere there it is these are the multi-track chops you can see them this is like a little different way of chopping sample it's not like the usual you where you're um yeah where you're doing um that's not the usual method of sampling where you just take a two track you know you chop it up this is a um, it's multi-track so I can chop it like the MIDI of it and then it's 
it's all the instruments are still there available for me to mute within the job. So it's like kind of, it's like dynamic dropping or something, whatever. I don't know, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And um, yeah, if you want a, a custom soulful hip hop banger, um, head over to customgeniusbangers.com and see, uh, just check out the page. And if it's um, something that, that you think you might be interested in after listening to the snippets and um, after reading the, the letter that I have on there for you, then fill out the form and uh, we can set up a time to talk. But um, yeah, I wanted to just stick to this uh, this live stream every day thing. It's, it's a little more challenging than you would think, man. This is crazy. It's like you got to line up your, your whole uh, schedule like just right or not. I barely made it. It's like dark outside already. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll probably see you tomorrow, um, with some more videos, some more bangers. So make sure you go over to customgeniusbangers.com. Peace.